know what we're going to do is, especially like I said, Clay, I've done this position to Clay before, had a lot of trouble getting him all the way over, okay, because he can take a few steps and create a lot of distance, all right, so I've got to do something about that. So say I can't get this grip, whatever it is, I'm, I'm trying to do this, and I'm arching, he just takes some steps back, and he just got such a good base, okay? Now, I can take this arm and come across and grab here, okay? See, that kind of twists my body already. That's giving me, so here, it's giving me that much more twist, all right? So I'm gonna come over, hips go up, I drive across, this comes across, and I rotate over here, there, okay? Now, from here, I can go ahead and fish the foot. From here, anytime you do a straight ankle lock, okay? When I'm showing techniques like this, I wish I wouldn't even do this showing techniques because I don't want you to think it's okay. But I, I do this so you can kind of see the position. Try to never get a habit of going to your elbow. All this does is help him, and this is the worst thing you can do on a straight ankle lock. Anytime you grab a straight ankle lock, you try to hide this elbow to the other side of your back, here. Because I want to twist the foot in, and then I extend it. I tighten up all these tendons with the twist, almost like how a toehold works, and then I'm just pulling them apart, okay? So as soon as I grab this, I hide that and I come back, okay? That is so important on straight angle. All right, so I use this arm, we come down here, I can feed this and come down, there's my straight angle, okay? Once I get here, I'm going to go ahead and pull this across to the other side, okay? Try not to get caught in your geek. To the other side. Now, we can go in a minute, we can go for a foot lock on this side and get nasty really quick, okay? But for now, what I want us to do is see this post. I'm going to grab the knee, pull in tight. I'm going to come up. See his collar right here? As I come up, grab the collar, leg drag. When I leg drag, Controlling the hip. Okay, he's twisted here. This isn't comfortable at all. I get the collar, I control, I get a crouch so he can't try to bring this up. This hand, you know, just keep it here or somewhere. Take this hand on the hip here. You get the belt, the pants, whatever, and you can pull his hip to you. Okay? Because his way out, his only way out really, is to get his hips away from you. Okay? But I've got this right here. He's not moving anywhere until I let it. I don't care if he's a really big guy or what. This is such a locked down position. It's gonna be super hard for him to get any movement, okay? The leg drag is such a great position. For, for, passing, okay? for the leg drag, I'm just going to feed this. This is top side Oshie, okay? I'm Oshie, I've got it crossed. Just like, you know, I'm not going for a heel hook here. I'm just going for this straight here. Once again, same principles. I hide my elbow and then I arch into that, okay? You say he's ready, okay? Right there. You can get some good torque out of this, all right? If he tries to jump my leg and come across here, you know, I can still come up with this here. Or I just came up and got my, my points, all right? Either way, this is not a bad spot. If he tries to roll for some reason and come here, I can go belly down on this, and that's breaking territory right there, okay? That's that like, weight on it, okay? So you can add that to what we just did. Okay, all right, everybody got it? One, two, three. Hey everyone, don't forget, if you like these videos, hit the subscribe button, give them a thumbs up. If you got any questions or anything you wanna see in the future, feel free to leave that in the comment section below. Hope you enjoy the video.